If you look at some of the most viewed and recognized videos on YouTube, they all have some elements that connect them together. And what's crazy is the YouTubers and production usually know exactly what they're doing. Now, from my experience in editing for YouTube creators and just being a casual viewer, I've picked up on a few things I'd like to share with you that most YouTubers do to keep you hooked. Each and every person has a unique personality that sets them apart from everybody else. Now the goal for editing on YouTube is to project that to the best of your ability so that the creator and their content work hand in hand to magnify their personality. Take Ryan Trahan for example. His personality is really brought out in the editing style he chose to use, which is a more fun and less serious way. But on the other hand, we have Marcus Brownlee, which is without a doubt significantly different from Ryan because his personality is. You get what I'm saying? When the editing is completely different from the way the person is communicating, it just feels off. Now, if you're editing for another creator on YouTube, it could take some time to kind of figure out their personality, but it's definitely important. Understanding the type of style they like with graphics, storytelling, music, all fall underneath that category. This is the exact reason why someone with an entirely different personality will try to make an exact replica of a Mr. Beast style video and completely fail. People that have been working in the YouTube space for some time have probably came across the term cold open. You could call this the introduction of your edit. A lot of times this includes something that's intriguing, which will more than likely make the viewer stay to see what happens. But there's some things to keep in mind when building out a cold open. In some way, show the promise of the video in the beginning so that the person watching knows they're not being clickbaited. And this doesn't mean you have to give away the whole video. Next, YouTubers like to use intense dramatic music maybe if it fits, to build onto that intrigue factor of it. And lastly, it's essentially making a mini trailer for your video. So keeping that in mind, make something that actually suits your video, just like how a trailer does with a movie. Sometimes this could take some experimenting to see what works, and I'm not saying that every single YouTuber does this, but most of them that are higher up do. Now this one's very subtle to the point where you might not even notice, but that's the point. Cuts like the J and L cut help with this as well. Essentially making the flow of the video as natural as possible. Unless the break of that is intentional. A lot of YouTube editors cut at the right moments, making sure that there's no awkward gaps or anything to keep the video entertaining. I mean, even if you don't want to use those special cuts, which I recommend you do, Jump cuts work good as well. And another part of keeping the flow is cutting out dead space or any sentences that don't benefit the video if you need to. The goal here is to make the video as enjoyable to your viewers as possible. This won't take long to explain, but it is another subtle effect that keeps your viewers interested. And that's adding subtle movements. Movements can be used in many different ways. You can add a handheld movement to give it a little bit more excitement, a slow zoom to build tension, a quick zoom in and zoom out to focus on keywords, or a slow zoom out as an indication of revealing something. You'd be surprised how much this can actually help in different aspects of an edit. But of course, you have to find the right moments to do it. Now on to the last one. What makes a good movie? No, really, think about your favorite movie and what makes it good. Some of the best movies to this day have a change in rhythm throughout the film. Some moments are exciting, some moments are emotional, some parts are funny, and some are dramatic. The same could go for editing a YouTube video. If it keeps the same rhythm for a long time, it could reach the point where it's boring. Now, of course, regular YouTube editing and movie editing are usually very different. So how can you change the rhythm when you don't have a two to three hour film to work with? Well, you could always break the rhythm by cutting the music 
for comedic effect or punching in on the shot as well. You could also just swap the music if you feel like it's getting too repetitive. If you're cutting at a certain pace, you could have one section go a little bit longer than usual. And you could also add a slow zoom if you wanted for tension like I said earlier. There are plenty of ways to change the rhythm of an edit. All you need to do is figure out which one works best for the project you're working on. A very important element YouTube creators also take advantage of is making sure their videos sound right. Because someone will most definitely click off a video because of bad audio more than the video quality. I made a video on that. You can click here to watch if you're interested. I'll see you at the next edit.